Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Okay, those are cows and horses. We are doing an outside video. Hi, hey, hey, hi, guys. The men are fussing. The Shetland is the one. Burl, he always gets fussy. Um, but we are outside courtesy of Cody, who <clears throat> is asleep on the hide bed and that's because our front room is also our spare bedroom. We, we don't have an extra bedroom, but I do have a hiding bed in there, which is where our just friends all crash. So this is weekly update 140 something. I honestly don't know what. It'll be in the header as RJ says. And uh, there's a lot going on in the barn stalls and in the fields, but other than that, not a whole lot going on because of what's going on in the barn stalls and the fields. So let's get on into it. Um, go there's some baby calves look at that there's Delilah and PBR um anyway you can see in the background you've got sheep back there and everything's cleared off the pasture because we're still haying but um most of it's up and around here so I will I'm gonna walk on out if I can get the gates without too much problem we'll go check on bidet um she's the last one I have to check Poor boy's been up and around a little bit. Or Gordy, I guess is what RJ calls him. This here's Jelly Bean. He's only here for the weekend. He's a team roping horse. And then there's another horse. You can see its little butt right there in the um, by the barn. She's in the goat pen because she was in the barn in those horse stalls. And oh, look at here. Aren't they cute? Aren't you all cute? Yeah. Hey, bully boy. You can come see Mama, huh? Yes, you were cute. Yes, you were cute. Oh, yes, you my boy. Anyway, um, what, Rosie Red? She says, what? Um, so anyway, um, the boys, because the day is taking a stall of her own for impending calving, I'm short a horse pen. So, um, Coop and went in to be in the barn with Cody's horse and Cody's horse has decided she does not like oak oh, trains starting up Cody's horse has decided she doesn't like to be in the barn by herself and when RJ left this morning Coop left so the horse kind of went a little berserk in the um, barn so she's out in the goat pen and the goats are out on the pasture I already milked them so it wasn't a big deal Anyway, all right, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Happy Labor Day! I think it's September 3rd. Might be the 4th? 2nd. I don't have a clue. Not even going to try and fake it and no computer to look on. So, um, it is the first weekend in September. Happy Labor Day. Uh, in the barn stalls, we uh, lost Gidgey. Um, it was pretty rough. Um, there was no indication that anything was wrong. She, uh, she had signs of worms. We talked to Doc. He says, you know, maybe it's time to switch worm or worm medication. So we did. And, well, when we did, apparently that wasn't the issue. And we lost her before we even knew it. That she was up that morning eating cookies, doing farm visits. And that evening I went out there and she had passed away so <clears throat> then we also lost um hey miss bidet bidet we also lost daisy the duck and i know it's silly but that duck had been with us she was one of rj's first show birds and she uh, had been with us since he was like six or seven so she she was really old for a duck and i get that but it still hurt it, it it was bad so not bad bad but just bad enough to make you wonder so i'm actually out here gonna check the day today yeah all right day day you gonna give us a cow huh hate to see you give us a duck but anyway she is miserable and uncomfortable but her birth is impending so we like that um here's the calves and that out here so all of that happened in the barn stalls everything is locked off of the pasture because we're bailing hay hey guys look at you huh and we look down there 
There's nothing down in there now. They've all come up to get hay and water. Yeah, mommy feels water, don't we? And the other horses are over there underneath the tree. So everybody just is up in the holding pen voluntarily. The gate is open and they can run the whole arena. But this is where we dump hay for them. So uh, anyway, all right. I have not been working on anything in the yarn farm, nothing um, in the fields. I'm barely keeping up with the garden. I did get, um, as you saw last week, I got some of the vines clipped back. I haven't gotten back out there because we're in the hay field. And this is the last section I hope to have to do. So um, I don't know if you can see that the hay barn over there is almost full. What is left over after that's full goes to Kevin's barn. So, um, it is what it is, and, uh, whew, almost dropped the lock, there we go. Um, so, we've had a lot of drama. I did that day in a life film to kind of show you that things don't always go as planned, first off, and secondly, I couldn't have planned, that really is how my days go, unfortunately. Lee makes some decisions without really thinking it through. And one right now that he is <sighs> making is that he is not taking his medicine again. Um, he did the first 30 days because he had a, a follow-up visit with the doctor. And then after that, she adjusted it, felt it was going to do just fine for him. And so she didn't put a follow-up. So he took it for about seven days and then quit taking it. So he didn't even have it in his system at the right um, potency to do any good. So that leads to a lot of our things. I asked him three or four times if he checked the weather before he went to baling. Because if it was going to rain, I just need to get those bales in out of the rain that were on the pasture. And the baling can wait. If it rains and the grass is cut and just laying there drying, it will turn it brown, but it won't ruin it. However, the bales, those small bales like that, will get rain down in them and they will ruin. So the rain isn't really a problem as long as you don't have square bales sitting out there in the rain. And I would have had plenty of time to pull in everything that we had out there and put it in this barn and then just let the hay dry, lay until after the rain pass and then go back out there, rake it once more and then go back to bailing. But he told me it wasn't supposed to rain for a long time. He walked, I walked in, I said, make sure you check the weather. I said it like three times. I said, did you check the weather? Did you check? He didn't feel the need to, I guess, or whatever. And he just said, oh, it's not supposed to rain for a long time. I said, there's Hank, she's a rolling. There's the sheepies, all the sheepies over there. And so, anyway, he said it wasn't supposed to rain for a long time. Apparently a long time, that was at 4 o'clock. By 8 o'clock, we were getting wet. So I had to go and tip all of the bales of hay up. And I might make a little video about that. Um, I call it tip and flip. Everybody calls it TPing around here. Um, but you flip them sideways so that the wires are up and then you TP them. And it creates a, a runoff so that the bale doesn't um, absorb the rain and it can save the bales. We saved all the bales out there um, and it is what it is. So anyway, other than that, I've just kind of given you a little walk around, not really talking about what's being seen on the camera, but you kind of can figure it out. The tree is going down little by little and the firewood stacks are getting bigger and bigger. Um, when that gets gone, the fence line, the new fence line will be put in from the corner of the house to the corner of the barn with one gate. Miss Piggy's pen, we're going to figure out a different way to do the wood so that her enclosure, this is what Lee's parents used to use for dogs and stuff, but I think it's too small for anything. I really do it. We use it as a timeout or a temporary thing. I don't leave them in there constantly. I just don't think they have enough room. I think they go crazy, even the dogs. So anyway, um, we're going to move that fence across there, have one fence. This will be taken down and just have a wooden fence to match that for Miss Pig. And then we're going to figure out where to put the wood and it may be further down. I don't know. 
but it'll be easier it, it definitely will be easier who knows we might put it over there on that fence line anyway i'm gonna get off here and get back to work i will talk to you guys later sorry this is short and a little bit different but it's going to get better i promise